invite you to open your hearts and your minds to what comes next. You are about to get a glimpse in the future. So my friends, get a load of this. We hope you love it like we do. I'll see you on the other side. just isn't that good for me. No matter how many people like to deny it, it's so, so, so similar to Team Fortress 2, another game that I just never got into. This is going to be the next big thing. People are going to be playing this just because it's made by Blizzard. The concept of brand loyalty is novel to me. I've never heard this said by anyone else. People have been unfairly comparing Overwatch to TF2, and I just don't see it. This is a cartoon, class-based, first-person shooter with cosmetic item drops. Other than the entire premise of the game, they have nothing in common. So I played as them and I started exploring the different characters, seeing what the pros and cons are, which ones I like, which ones I'm going to play as. And I did notice some similarities. And the similarity is to the game Team Fortress 2. Now I'd heard some people make the comparison between the two, and it is insane how similar this is. So a couple of examples. The Sniper. You zoom in, and the longer you zoom in, you get a powerful shot you shoot. And it has a secondary that's a, a submachine gun. The same as the sniper on Team Fortress 2. You have the junk rat, which launches grenades and can chuck down a C4. Very, very similar to the demo man on Team Fortress 2, who launches grenades and sticky bombs like the C4 that can be detonated when you want. You have Torbjorn, or as my friend calls him, Toblerone, who can place down turrets which will shoot for you and you can upgrade to the next level. Very similar to Team Fortress 2's engineer. Almost identical, actually, let's be completely honest. Overwatch has its own cast of unique heroes, like the demo man with the wee booties. He takes a moderate amount of skill. Then there's my favorite, the Fin Scout. She runs hella fast and goes, Oh God, save the chimney cricket on the barbie, governor. If the art style is similar in some cases, you have to escort a payload throughout the fucking map, there's different roles and classes, there's cosmetic items, like, it's super sim- I mean, the game is insanely, insanely similar to Team Fortress 2. I mean, the game types on Team Fortress 2. On Team Fortress 2, if you've ever played it before, you have to capture a neutral objective or stand on, and this is not a joke, it's called the same thing, the payload. On Team Fortress 2, you stand on a bomb, that's what it normally is, you stand on a bomb, and the bomb moves along a cart. Based on how many people are standing on it, it moves along this little track towards a final objective. The exact same game type on Overwatch. You stand on a cart, or car, or whatever it is, and it moves to a final objective. This is so similar to Team Fortress 2. <laughs> Joining us now, Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan. Jeff, we're so it's happy BlizzCon to have you. again. It's always great to be here with you guys. I feel like this is our only time we get to see each other is BlizzCon. I, oh, oh for yeah. Sure. And I definitely see a lot of shipping happening between her I, and Zenyatta. <laughs> Are we gonna Zenyatta call it Moyata? That that works. I can only imagine Whatever ships we think of, yeah. the internet surprises me how much better theirs are. So. <laughs> I, What's been your favorite ship you've heard so far? Well, I think, I mean, Far Mercy and Mikhanzo. Uh, how can you... Pharmacy is amazing. Yeah, oh, those are like pharmacy. The, the best couples. What was the it, other one? It, it, uh, Mikhanzo. I have never heard of Mikhanzo, and that's fantastic. That yes. sounds amazing. Twitter, just look for Mikhanzo, and you will not be disappointed. <laughs>